1851, there was 137 black people living in Canfield alone. And no one ever talked about the black families. I don't think people were aware. It was a forgotten history. The more I educated myself, the more I was determined to do something. Canfield Roots is a documentary series that reveals the now largely forgotten story of how escaped slaves started their new lives in rural Niagara. Joining us now is an old friend of ours, Graham Bashu, who directed the series, and Spencer Martin, a Toronto-based freedom seeker descendant, to tell us more. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to see you, Graham. Good to, good to see you too, Bob. Yeah, this is uh, very exciting, this project. Uh, Spencer, I want to start with you, though. So you were a descendant of uh, one of the, uh, the freedom seekers, David Street, uh, the son of um, uh, who uh, came in through the Underground Railroad to Canfield. There was a number of people that, from the Underground Railroad that wound up in Canfield. But tell us your family story. Well, my family um, married into the streets, and so um, the streets are basically uh, in extended in-laws of my family. And but the streets are the um, antithesis of what uh, people went through to escape. They came here uh, through the Underground Railroad separately. Um, Lucy came with three kids um, without her husband, and they met uh, once once they got to Canada, and ended up in Canfield. And so that's that's the typical story of how everybody came to that area. Now there's a, a street cemetery that is deteriorating, and and that's part of the docu series. That's right, and um, for. All of my life, I've known that there was a cemetery in that um, stand of trees, but it was on private property, so none of us could gain access to it. And it, 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 this cemetery is a tangible um, aspect of uh, our family and what they went through to get here. And to see these graves, and to realize that those are the bodies of the people that made me who I am. Right. is a tremendous feeling. Very impactful. Graham, how did you come to write and direct this docu-series? It's six parts? It's a six part series, that's right. Um, it's really a matter of proximity. Um, I moved out to, uh, to Haldeman County six or seven years ago and uh, I, I sort of um, fell in with <laughs> some local historians who started filling me in on, on some of this information and I was just astounded by it, um, that there would be uh, such a, a strong uh, freedom seeker uh, population in this area. Um, there's very little left. Their houses are all gone. Uh, the cemetery is pretty well, uh, and and some of the other cemeteries so it's pretty well the only tangible uh, evidence that um, that these freedom seeker families settled here. Um, they've all sort of over the generations moved away. And I just thought it was such a great story. I thought it was uh, a little piece. I don't like to say that it was forgotten history, but it wasn't well known. And I thought it deserved deserves more attention. So um, you know, over time, I resolve to make a documentary about it and it turned into a documentary series yeah that's a, a very important initiative uh, so yeah as you say maybe not gone but you have a, a history that was very close to being erased so it's so important to uh, shine a light on this what do you want people to take away from this docu-series well i think one of the most important things uh in this is um the, the human element of it. Um, we see stones, we see graveyards, uh, we see cemeteries, and uh, it's just pieces of stone in the ground. And, you know, I, I don't know if that really connects with people sort of in, on a, in a general sense, but if we stop and think about it, I mean, those were human beings. They had lives and um, they, you know, had families, they had friends, uh, they contributed to our society. Um, and this isn't, uh, to me, it isn't um, strictly, you know, one ethnicity or anything like that. We all um, want to be remembered when we're gone. Like when we pass away, we don't want to be forgotten about. We don't want our, our stories to be erased or anything like that. So the ability to, um, uh, you know, bring that to light and, and highlight what is a, a you know, a nationwide problem with uh, cemeteries being abandoned on private land um, and the struggles that um, 
you know, interested family members, community members go through in order to protect those cemeteries. Uh, that's one of the most important themes in this, this project for sure. And such an important contribution on this uh, Black History Month. Um, seconds left, but Spencer, I just want to quickly ask you before we go, uh, is there anything new you learned about your family history or any story that was particularly impactful that, you, uh, that was new to you? The story of how uh, the streets escape uh, was brand new to me. And the detail of how a woman traveling with three small children could make it away under the cover of darkness from uh, the states, the deep south, to yeah. Canada, to freedom. Yeah, it's it, amazing. It, it's, it is amazing to think about. Yeah. Uh, Canfield Roots. Where do we see it, Graham? Uh, you can watch it uh, Tuesday nights at 7.30 on WNED-PBS. Uh, it's also available on Bell 5 TV1. Um, the first episode of Canfield Roots on WNED-PBS uh, got uh, over 10,000 viewers, and they, it was so popular that they've added a second run starting on March 15th. Uh, you can also go to my website, windeckerroadfilms.com, uh, order a DVD set. Uh, you can also watch it on VOD there. So there's multiple paths to okay. uh, checking out this Cool documentary. At least yes. I think it's cool. And uh, yeah, and we're so happy to uh, support you with this. And we'll link all that up too at chch.com. Graham Bashu and Spencer Martin, thanks for sharing Canfield Roots with us. Thank you. Thanks, Bob.